everyone talking about Dark Lord by Killian and the name is accurate for this one. So this is marketed to men and definitely a very masculine scent. But unlike a lot of super masculine scents, to me it's more of a modern masculine scent. So the notes in this are bergamot, Sichuan pepper, bourbon pepper, divana, rum, jasmine, vetiver, cipriol, cedar, and patchouli. And although they don't explicitly mention leather in that notes list, that's definitely here, or at least something is creating a major leather accord. So this is not for the faint of heart. It's far from being one of the most intense scents I've ever smelled. It's not something that's just absolutely explosive, but it's definitely not something that I think someone could pull off being really like meek and kind of you have to really like I hate this kind of saying like where the center the scent where's you I mean that but it is kind of accurate sometimes and I think this would be the case here definitely like badass I picture like leather jacket maybe not quite like hell's angel level but motorcyclist it starts kind of the same way that it ends but by the end it's a little bit more like vetiver and leather but it starts like oily gasoline smoky rubbery leathery spicy for sure there's moments of booziness and dark green the booze here though i would say this is definitely not the type of killian scent like so many of theirs that is just booze central you might not even know if you didn't look at the notes and stuff that it was booze in here the rum is really it just kind of almost gives it like a tiny bit of gourmandy sweetness at times in between all of the intensity of the other notes and between the bergamot and jasmine, yeah, that adds kind of a little bit of sweet freshness as well to kind of balance some of the really, really harsh aspects of the other notes. It's not for me because the patchouli and the rum just kind of give it too much of a... I don't like boozy notes, I don't like patchouli. Again, this is not hardcore boozy, but just a little bit too... I don't really like the rum sweetness in there. And the patchouli here is definitely more on the dirty side, but that's kind of be, to be expected with this theme of this fragrance so yeah I picture this is like suave badass not refined and elegant type of suave but just like cool don't give a fuck but <laughs> clearly you do if you're spending hundreds of dollars on killing bottles and yeah not much else to say basically if you like smoky rubbery leathery slight booze burnt vetiver and just like a dark badass type of scent, but that's also going to be a little bit mysterious and not completely try hard. Yeah, this is good for that. This costs 265 for a 50 mil, or if you're getting a 50 mil refill because the bottles are refillable, it's 210. I mean, I feel like this would be absolutely ridiculous to be like $500 for a 100 mil, but this is not an everyday scent. 50 mil could potentially last you years and years. So I think, okay, fine, that's fair for that. It does smell very high quality, very well blended. And again, if you're looking for that really dark, badass, but still kind of smooth and suave, masculine vibe, this is it. As mentioned, I think you should uh, check it out if that's the kind of thing that you like to go for or you're curious about. I will put a link in the description where you can get a bottle and you can also get a sample for five bucks.